Hello all. Thought I'd spend a few minutes and share a few photos from a radio that I restored back in 2013. The radio is an RCA Model 96T1. Uh, the radio presented quite a challenge uh, due to the condition of the cabinet. The electronic piece was really straightforward. Here are a couple uh, photos of the cabinet and you'll kind of get an idea here what I'm talking about. The top side of the cabinet you can see the substrate was actually loose due to water damage and the uh, top of the walnut veneer had actually peeled away. A little closer look of the substrate and the veneer uh, separating. The uh, substrate uh, appeared to be made out of birch plywood, uh, very thin, maybe one thirty seconds of an inch, and that's what I used to uh, actually build the substrate back up um, before replacing the uh, walnut veneer on the top of the radio, which I'll show in just a moment. I was able to remove about two layers of the substrate and get a flat surface. I actually filled it in with uh, wood filler and sanded flat. Here are a couple pictures inside the back of the cabinet uh, where, again, I had to remove the uh, grill cloth and the dial glass uh, before uh, moving forward with the uh, refinish of the radio. Here's another quick look at the substrate sanded. Again, it's ready at this point in time for another layer of birch plywood. I think I used 1 32nd of an inch uh, birch plywood that I purchased online. Uh, here you can see it applied and clamped. I uh, quickly moved on to the uh, veneer and it's been cut out pretty close to that pattern. And you can just see here the glue uh, on the back of the veneer and here it's ironed on uh, to the radio. Here's a quick look at the uh, the new veneer on the top of the radio with the new substrate, um, kind of a top-down view. So with the new veneer on the radio, I continued sanding and just doing the final prep work uh, before applying a finish. On this particular radio, uh, I did not use uh, grain filler. I tried to build the surface uh, just kind of an experimentation with lacquer, so I was somewhat successful, but uh, if I had it to do over, I would have definitely used uh, grain filler. Uh, here's where the radio, again, was uh, taped out in preparation for the uh, tone lacquer. A uh, quick picture of the, uh, of the finish here, the radio, from a couple different angles. Again, it turned out pretty well. It's not, uh, it's not great, but it's, uh, it was a good job couple more photos here and you can see where again the grain filler was not uh, not used. Overall though the radio definitely uh, is more presentable uh, in this condition than it was when I uh, purchased the radio. So um, you know I'm, I'm proud of it and you always learn something from uh, these endeavors that's for sure. Hope you enjoyed the uh, a quick look at the RCA uh, model 96 T1.